Hey y'all, Dekumon here, and welcome to Final Fantasy XIV, Heaven's Word. That's right guys, I'm finally back at Final Fantasy XIV. Oh my goodness, I have been looking forward to and dreading this one in equal measures. Because I remember the pain in the butt that the Realm Reborn LP was, but at the same time, now that we're past Realm Reborn, we get to go into one of the best Final Fantasy stories ever written. I'm sorry, you can fight me on this if you want, but Heaven's Word is freaking amazing. And I know that A Realm Reborn gets a lot of flack. It really does. And there's a couple reasons for that. It's mostly, though, that it's kind of slow. Because there's a lot of world building. And, well, yeah, we got to do it before the big uh, crunch of all the quests. God, they probably cut out like eight hours worth of quests. Oh, okay. Uh, well, conveniently, we will watch the opening video. Uh, oh, also, big point out. If you haven't watched the Realm Reborn LP or played a Realm Reborn, this is gonna be some pretty heavy spoilers. This is your one and only warning. I should be obvious, but Heaven's Word is the first expansion to Final Fantasy XIV, so everything that happens here is obviously taking place after the Realm Reborn story. And also, if you have any interest in it, go play it. The free trial literally goes all the way to the end of Heaven's Word. So, you know, you're getting 60 levels of content. Go nuts. <sighs> Here's our boy, the Warrior of Light. This is our representation in the game. And you're gonna make me relive this, aren't you? You bastards. <sighs> Nanamu, Raubon. Asshole. Can't remember his name off the top of my head. Lilarito. That was Lilarito. <sighs> I was trying, I think it was Teleji, uh, but uh, Raubon kills Teleji in that little interchange. And then, of course, there's the main theme of Heaven's Word, which is just freaking amazing. Uh, hi! Oh! No! I think our boy might be a little outmatched. <laughs> oh. Damn! The Dragoon's going to town on that fool. Okay, come on, now you're showing off. Yep, and our first look at our new main hub town, Ishgard, here. Ooh, that's gonna be hard on the old point of the axe there. Really should get that in a rack. There we are. There's the pullback to let us see Ishgard in all her glory. <laughs> all right, yes, this is also the first official expansion to have flying mounts, although we did get flying back in the core areas. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that when we get there. Oh, hey, Sid. Ooh. That's a lot of Dargons. And our boy's like, yeah, that's a lot of dragons there. Oh. Jeez. Could you look any more evil, dude? Oh, poor Raubon.
your blood's not pumping, check your pulse, because you're probably dead. And we're back. Finally back in the saddle of Dekumon Let's Play. Yep. And uh, I have decided we will be playing the Samurai from this point forward, at least until we hit level 60. At which point, well, a bunch of new jobs will open up to us. Uh, this is a direct continuation of the FF14 Let's Play I did earlier, which means we are basically going to go right back to where we were. Greetings, sir. Shall I show you inside? Also, apologies if voices are inconsistent. It has been quite a while since I did the original LP, and I don't remember everybody's voice! We get to go right into it with our very first quest with Master Alphino, one of the only Scions still standing. With coming to Ishgard, our very first quest. Night falls over Camp Dragonhead, it seems. The dawn's light will shine again. So long as we have these specious accusations hanging over us, we will struggle to achieve anything. You must go to Ishgard, as Tataru proposed. I will return to Uldar and set things right. Dude, they're not gonna believe you. Oshifant! Pray, do not be so hasty, Master Elfino. <laughs> I keep forgetting what high voice he has. Lord Oshifant. And also how god-awful tall he is! Sheesh! Full well do I understand your desire to clear your names. Dude puts the vampire lady from Resident Evil Village to shame. But now is not the time for drastic action. You yet have allies upon whom you can rely. There is no need to act alone. Oh? Go on. <laughs> Yes. Yes, of course. Pray forgive my impatience. Eh, no big deal. I bring tidings. Count Edmont has decreed that the three of you be taken in as wards of House Fortan. Well, Under our that's convenient. You shall be granted access to the city proper. Uh, all right. There yeah, we got to deal with the hierarchy of Ishgardian society, right? Pray, Frickin noble houses. Our manor your new headquarters, from which you may gather information and plan how best to proceed. Needless to say, should any of your missing allies be found, as I am certain they shall, they will of course be welcome to join you there. Well, that's mighty kind of you. Uh, I think I am gonna start friend. a stoic nod On counter for this LP, fellows, so <laughs> I your offer of hospitality. Let's see how high that number gets before the end of this. I kind of wish I actually had gone through and done a counter in the original FF14. Then we could have it be consistent across all of them, but ah well, say la vie. The count is a good man and just. He will treat you with the kindness and respect that a hero and dear friend deserves. <laughs> See what I mean? To that counter's gonna get high fast. Together. There we shall carry on the Scion's legacy. There we shall begin anew. Oh, right. Uh, they also changed out a fair number of the voice actors between Realm Reborn and Heavensward. Uh, some better, some not so much. I think Tataru's takes a little getting used to. And there we go. Our very first Heavensward quest accepted. And, of course, we get to hear the new music. Much more dramatic than the original. I must go on ahead and speak with the Count. Fear not, however, for everything has been arranged. The sentries at the Gates of Judgment have been informed of our decision. You need but state your names, and they will allow you to pass. My manservant shall be waiting for you at the city gates, ready to escort you to our manor, where we shall meet again. Until then, I'm gone. 
Speak with the Temple Knight Gate Guard at the Gates of Judgment. Alright, just going straight to the city. Gaze upon the Gates of Judgment. The entrance to the very first expansion. <laughs> eh, it's not too bad, actually. Alright, Mr. Gate Guard, please let us into a big city. Wolds of House Fultem. Ah, yes, you may pass. Proceed to Ishgard? Hell yes. There's that music again. Oh, wow, it is, uh, it's snowy up here. And so they came at a friend's behest. Heroes once celebrated as saviors of Eorzea, brought low through treachery, their names blackened with royal blood. Ouch. With Man. memories of the lost and dreams of redemption, with hope yet in their hearts, they came. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is a serious game. Here we are, Ishgard. To Ishgard, shining city on the mount, overlooking the dominion of Kurthus. A great and proud nation, devoted to Helone, the Fury, ruled by Thordon the Seventh, Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. Oh shit! No, I already have problems with Ishgard. We're turning around, guys. We're gonna live in Casa del Sol the instead. The last bastion of the faith. Her walls ever bristling with the sworn swords and spears of her four high houses. Ah, uh, nobility. Oh yeah. A land that after a thousand years of war. Yeah, I see what nobility is good for. Was to be at peace. Through gates long closed, the warrior of light and his companions passed, entering at last a city whose history was written in blood. Mm-hmm. To be fair, most cities are written in blood. It's just hard to find. In the midst of the Dragonsong War they came, three weary travelers Ooh. whose arrival would set in motion great change. Some dirty looks from the kids there. Though none knew then how great. <laughs> uh, I do enjoy the narrator from the memoirs of Count Edmond de Fortem, Heaven's Word. Hells yeah! And here we are. Uh, if memory serves, this area is called Foundation, which is, there's two areas in two Ishgard, kind of like all the other major cities all have two areas. Greetings, Master Let's Play. On behalf of House Fortem, I bid you welcome to Ishgard. My lord humbly requests your presence at his residence in the Pillars. If you would all come with me. I would come with you, but I have no idea how to get there. So first things first, uh, as always, when entering a new area, this first thing is always, always hit the etherite. Good Lord. You will lose so much sleep if you miss these things. <laughs> also as a recommendation for the time being, let's set this as our home point. Cause we won't be going back to Revenant's Toll for a good long while. The next thing to do is to run around town and pick up as many of the ether shards as I can find. Now there's quite a few of them around here, but grabbing them all makes getting around town stupid handy. I'll take this. Now, I won't show all of them, but you can find them easy enough just by going around the map. As you can see, there's uh, two more on this side and then the pillars has the rest. And that blue quest you see on there? Uh, that would be one of our new job quests. 
one of the ones we're not going to do because, unfortunately, the Ishgard quests all start at level 30. Jeez, I'd have to grind 20 levels to show off one of those jobs. It's one of the only real missteps of Heaven's Word is the fact that they locked all the new jobs into this city. And it really messes up people because, again, you gotta be level 50. You gotta have beaten all of A Realm Reborn just to get into this city. And it's the reason why all the job quests going forward, they decided to have the starting quests in the original three cities. So people who were at level could just pick them up right at the beginning. It made so much more sense. Oh joy. What is this, the slums? Oh, this place looks... You're having a... S <laughs> They're throwing snowballs at me! Oh my goodness! I've never noticed that before. Alright, that should be all the ones in this area. Now I just gotta get to the pillars. <sighs> and that should be the last one, right? Yep, you have attuned to all the Aetherites and Ishgard. Whew. Man, that takes a fair couple of minutes. Hey, Horshavant. The warrior of light and his brave companions walking the streets of Ishgard at last. What a glorious sight. I cannot tell you how long I have waited for this day. Allow me to present to you my family home, Fortep Manor. I should like nothing more than to show you around, but everyone is gathered to receive you. Come, my friends. Introductions must be made. I apologize for butchering poor uh, Horshafant's voice. My lord, I have returned with the Scions. I have returned with the Scions. It's not too bad, I suppose. Oh, I hey. I hope your journey was not too taxing. Ah, and there's our narrator, Count Edmund. And stone silence. I, Count Edmond de Fortomp, do bid you welcome. As wards of House Fortomp, you shall be afforded every courtesy. My home is your home. Damn, that's awfully nice of you. My companions and I are deeply honored, Count Fortomp. The honor is mine, Master Alfino. Consider it an expression of our gratitude for your service to Ishgard. Oh, right, the whole uh, siege of the Gates of Judgment thing. Yeah, no, nah, it was no big deal. Not to mention just helping Horshafon out. <laughs> In Forgive general. Me, my lord, but are you not concerned? To accept foreign guests at such a juncture, especially ones with our reputation. Yeah, not really our fault, but still. Do not worry yourself on my account. Tis true that Ishgard's first thought has ever been the war effort, hence the closing of our borders. Mm. Yet it is in troubled times most of all that men should seek allies, don't you think? Something tells me you're a bit of a radical around here. Most Granted, my noble houses like this. Eyebrows in the vault yeah. and in the halls of the other high houses. I was gonna say, uh, most nobilities, especially those with church rulers, tend to be very rigid and conservative in their viewings. You do not strike me as that. But so long as you continue with your altruistic endeavors, I doubt my honored peers will feel moved to voice their concerns. Mm-hmm. Then there is naught to fear. Though our numbers are much reduced, we are no less determined to carry on our work. Full glad am I to hear it. Uh, but before you return to your labors, why not take a tour of the city? Uh, no thanks, I already did that. Got all the etherites and everything. You would do well, I think, to acquaint yourselves with your new surroundings. After all, you may be here for some time. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Alright, fine. I'll take a wander around. <laughs> ah, our first Heaven's Word quest complete! Alpha no! Taking in the sights. Oh, right, yeah, a lot of these are going to be dropping gear, which I'm pretty sure is worse than what I've got on right now. It's pretty much identical. 
Eh, it's slightly worse, but not by much. Although it does have slots. Then again, I don't care much about slots until I'm actually, you know, at level. Though our friends in House Full Temps have been generous enough to extend us their protection, we must take care not to impose too much on their hospitality. It is only proper that we learn about our new home, so that we might become more self-sufficient. It'll take a while to learn the lay of the land, but learn it we must. Then there's the markets and taverns. We'll need to know where to shop and where to hear small talk. God, I haven't practiced Tataru's voice at all. <laughs> Twould seem a tour of the city is indeed in order. No, I'm not counting Tataru's nod. I only count main character nods. Otherwise, that count would get ridiculous. Uh. I thank you for your counsel, my lord. My companions and I shall of course do as you suggest. Very good. Then my manservant shall accompany you. He will be able to answer any questions you might have. Ah, but I grow forgetful in my dotage. There is something I must give you ere we part. Hmm? Their documentation is in order, I trust? Yes, my lord. Ah! Papers! Must have papers, as always. Thank you. Proof that I am not scum! These documents identify you as wards of House Fortem. Given that our borders have remained closed for decades, many of my countrymen are unaccustomed to treating with foreigners. Should anyone happen to question your presence here, it may prove necessary to remind them that you remain under the protection of House Fortem. But let us hope it shall not come to that. Rest assured that we shall do our utmost to avoid any situation which might compel us to invoke your name. Eh, I give it five minutes. Tegumon, Tataru, the city awaits. Let's go! Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, that one counts. That one counts. Back to the Holy Sea of Ishgard. All right, what's the plan here? Oh, hi. As this is your first time in our fair city, pray permit me to show you to the Hoplon from whence we may gaze upon the splendor of the Holy Vault. Though all other sights pale in comparison, it is only meet that you see it first. I shall then show you around the jeweled crozier, where you may purchase all manner of goods and services before descending to Foundation's Etherite Plaza. If there are no questions... I should be able to beat you there for most of these, simply due to the fact that uh, there are etherite shards everywhere, but this one... This one I gotta walk. The Hoplon, so named for the bronze great shield borne by our nation's patron deity, is the largest plaza in Nishgard. And yet it's pretty much deserted. The magnificent cathedral to the north is, of course, the Holy Vault. The vault is both Ishgard's seat of government and the residence of the Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. Yeah, ain't he the one that was getting whispered to by the Assians last we saw him? Begging your pardon, the statues to the south, are they perchance Thornton's famed Knights Twelve? Hmm? Ah, there we are. Very good, Master Alphino. They are the fathers of Ishgard. The brave knights who joined with King Thorden I to put down Nidhogg and found this great nation. Nidhogg, you say? There's a name we haven't heard in a while. Ours is a city rich in history and tradition, and there is much you can learn by exploring the pillars. Time permitting, of course. Now then, if you would follow me to the Jeweled Crozier, I shall introduce you to Mistress Elaise, our master of the markets. You have a master of the markets? Interesting job title. And I don't follow automatically. Oh, 
Hmm, brewing up some tea? Coffee? Hot water? Something? Well, you're clearly not locals of traveling peddlers, which makes you all scum. Makes you all scum. Oh. Oh, you have papers. Ah, wards of House Fortem. Oh, poo, I suppose I can't step on you then. How very interesting. Count Edmund has granted us leave to remain in Ishgard for as long as we wish, which may be some time. Accordingly, we will have need of sundry goods, hence our desire to make your acquaintance. That is, of course, assuming you are content to accept the custom of foreigners, should you be uncomfortable. Young sir, we do not discriminate in matters of money. If you have coin to spend, who are we to refuse it? Of course, we may not give you the thing you spend it on, but eh, oh well. Take your chances. Weapons, armor, equipments, medicine, materials, whatever your desire, it can be found in the Crozier. Our merchants will be more than happy to accommodate you, as you shall soon see. Something tells me I don't believe that entirely, but all right. Our next destination is the Etherhead Plaza in Foundation. If everyone is ready. <laughs> ah, the cute little wave from Tataru. Ah, this is our last stop on the tour, it seems. Ah, and here we are at the Foundation's Etherite Plaza. If you have yet to attune to the Etherite, it would be wise to do so now. Don't worry, covered. I got it done. And I'll take the silver pieces. The better half. Uh, I'm assuming none of these are really useful. Nope. Your etherite looks a little roughed up there, dude. It's a big hole in the middle. As for our next destination, mayhap we should decide together. What else can be found nearby? The Skysteel Manufactory stands to the west. There, our engineers conceive and manufacture weapons for use against the dragons. The Holy Stables, where chocobos are trained for war, also lie in that direction. To the north and east can be found the Congregation of our Knights Most Heavenly, while to the south and east, well, it would be best if you avoided that area. Well, that sounds like that's the first place we should go then. And why is that? I, I fear our knights may not be able to ensure your safety in the lowest levels, Master Alphino. Uh, uh, whose voice is this? Uh, hold your nose when you pass the broom, little lord. A delicate flower like you is like to wilt in our fumes. I have no idea who this is. Do you have a name or are you just an asshole? You misjudge me, sir, for I am no lord, but a humble traveler. Oh, come to see the sights, have ye? Take a turn down the hoplin and gop at the statues. <laughs> well, if you have a mind to learn how the better half live, come and have a drink at the Forgotten Night. If your nurse may to let you. What is with that hair, dude? What'd you do, tattoo bald spots in? My humblest apologies, Master Alfino. Pray pay that drunken lout no mind. Oh, but I must. It would not do to refuse such a heartfelt invitation. Yes, I simply must see this forgotten knight for myself. I trust you see the wisdom in this, Decamon. There are few sources of information more abundant than a bustling local hostelry. Not that I expect to hear any news of our missing comrades just yet. Nevertheless, who can say what we might learn of recent events? Then I'm coming too! Ugh, I gotta get Tadaru's voice higher. That is gonna bother me till I get that right. Here we are. Hmm. You're kind of a gruff looking guy. Must say, this is rather unusual. Not just one, but a whole party of fresh new faces in my tavern. We but recently arrived in Ishgard and are eager to acquaint ourselves with her more notable establishments, Master... Gillibrand. Just Gillibrand will do. And I'm flattered you think so highly of my establishment. Can't promise it'll live up to your expectations, but if it's decent food and drink you're after, you could do much worse. 
Judging by the number of customers I see, I suspect your fare is rather more than decent. Speaking of your clientele, I cannot help notice difference between those who frequent the upper and lower floors. Spotted that, did you? I up here you'll find peddlers, porters, off-duty knights and so forth, dropping in on their way to or from somewhere else. Regulars maybe, but not locals. Folks from the broom, they tend to congregate downstairs, where we offer a menu more suited to their tastes. Cheaper meals, stronger spirits, all quality mind, but not the sort of stuff I'd recommend to yourselves. You speak of the lowest levels, yes? Why do they call them the broom, if I may ask? Because when the weather's foul and the broom rolls in thick, it's the poor salts living at the bottom who have to deal with it. Hmm. I see. And it's not just the weather. When the wyverns broke through the wards and started tearing up the city, it was the broom that got the worst of it, while the pillars enjoyed the protection of the high houses and the temple knights. More than a few people are still sore about that mind, which is why, considering your present company, I'd recommend you keep your wits about you if you mean to go below, and something sharp on your boot just to be sure. Damn. I shall take your words to heart, sir. Master Alphino, I think it would be best if we return to Fortep Manor. Uh, okay, can I get her voice higher? Give me a second. You go on without me. I'm staying for a drink or two. M Mr. Toro, I'm afraid that that is out of the question. My lord the Count would never forgive me if I abandoned one of his charges in such a place. Least of all a maiden. What are you up to, Tataru? Look round, Alfino. This tavern is full of people whose business regularly takes them beyond the gates of judgment. With friends like that, I could practically live here and wait for the newest gossip to come to me. Indeed, but will you be safe here on your own? Oh, please. Do you know how often I looked after the Waking Sands and the Rising Stones by myself? Seriously, I'm level 99. But, but the level cap's only 80. I know. That's why I'm level 99. If I had a gill for every unwelcome caller I've driven away, I'd be rich beyond my wildest dreams. I'll be fine. <laughs> Not that I doubt the lady's knack for fending off unwanted advances, but I'll be damned if I'm going to let anyone lay an unwelcome hand on a patron in my establishment. I'm also level 99. That settles it then. Tataru, Dekamon, and I shall return to the manor for now. Contact me by Link Pearl if you require assistance. I keep forgetting we have those. Oh, yes, I will. Never actually shows up in the inventory. It's just stuck in my ear permanently. So all we need to do is head back to Fortep's Manor. All right, let me in, dude. Welcome, Master Let's Play. Shall I show you inside the manor? Yes, yes, you will. Tell us then, Master Elfino, does Ishgard meet with your expectations? That which I imagined pales in comparison to the reality. I felt the weight of a thousand years of history with every step I took, and when those steps took me past the scars left by the Wyverns of Foundation, I understood how easily that history could end in tragedy. The attack was devastating. The casualties, unspeakable. The Wyverns did not discriminate. Unarmed men and women, even children, were given no quarter. Sir Emmerich has ordered his knights to strengthen our defenses, and each house has been called upon to lend what support it can. There is much to be done, yet alas, able-bodied men and women are in short supply. The joys of war, my friend. Mayhap we could be of assistance, my lord. After all you have done for us, we would welcome any opportunity to repay your kindness. <laughs> that is a most generous offer, Master Elfino. You are guests in my home, to whom I have extended my hospitality without obligation, let or lean. Nevertheless, Ishgard's need is great, and if you are willing to aid our cause, I cannot well refuse. Good. What would you ask of us?
From what I have heard, you are an intelligent and persuasive young man. Such qualities may prove useful in the efforts to secure provisions from foreign sources, identifying trustworthy suppliers, brokering contracts, and so on. Eh. The whole trustworthy thing worries me. Alpha No kind of has an issue with that. Alright. As for you, Master Let's Play, I could ask for no one better than the storied veteran such as yourself, a man with the capacity to act swiftly and decisively when needed, to aid Arturiel in Emanelin. Uh, sure, uh, Emanelin. We'll just go with Emanelin. To aid Arturiel and Emanelin in their duties. Hmm? I beg your pardon? I am more than capable of carrying out my duty by myself. I have no need of our honored guest's assistance. Now, now, be reasonable, brother. What manner of fool would say no when a famous hero offered to do his work? Hey, I didn't say do your work. I said help you with your work. Hold your tongues. By the fury, the two of you will conduct yourselves with dignity befitting your station and show Master Let's Play the respect he deserves. This is the man who slew Gaius van Belsar and some half dozen primals besides. He is not here to steal your glory or serve as your errand boy. <laughs> Somebody doesn't know me very well. Haven't you realized the title is actually the Gopher of Light? I literally am the errand boy. I already know how this is gonna end. If you can pardon them the impropriety, Master Let's Play, I should be much obliged if you would lend my sons a helping hand, and nothing more. My thanks. Fury willing, they may even learn something from you. Oh, I don't even need the walkie cane, apparently. Whew. Oh boy. It would seem we shall not want for employment over the coming days. Though that was never in doubt. Ahu's initial reluctance to accept our offer of aid was solely for appearance's sake. In truth, he is glad of this opportunity to put us to work. By granting us patronage, House Fultip has taken a tremendous risk. Until we demonstrate our worth to Ishgard at large, the Count will face considerable opposition from his peers in matters great and small. And so he would have us publicly serve Ishgard, while simultaneously keeping his sons in check. It is an arrangement we may benefit from in unexpected ways. My own duties may feasibly bring me into contact with people who know something of our missing comrades. And as you go about helping our two lords with their various responsibilities, you will inevitably make new acquaintances in this guard. Perhaps even new allies. Yes, the more I think on this, the more confident I am that by furthering their goals, we shall further our own. Hmm. Interesting thoughts there, good sir. Oh. And suddenly the quest splits. Well, I think that's a good place to stop for this one. Be a nice little introduction episode. Ah, <laughs> be good to get back into Heaven's Word. Oh, I have missed playing this story. And yeah, I know we just got here and already pieces are starting to show up. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite and subscribe to join me for more Eorzean adventures. And until then, see you guys in the next video.